Hello trombone players, we're going to be learning how to play the trombone, our first step, which is going to be playing in the mouthpiece. So make sure you have your mouthpiece nearby. First thing we're going to do is talk about the breath. Whenever we play a brass instrument or any instrument at all, we have to acknowledge that it takes a lot of air. So remember, your lungs go from up here at the collarbone all the way down to below your ribs. So relax your diaphragm and take the biggest breath you can and fill all of this up. Ready, go. You may feel your rib cage raise up ever so slightly. You may feel air come into the back of your back a little bit too. That is a great first breath. Practice that a few times. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the face that we make to make the trombone sound. So when we go to make the face for trombone, we want to make sure that we first start with a relaxed face. Good. Then firm up. Then tall mouth. Then Push your lips together, like me. That's a pretty tight lip tension. We may end up playing too high at first, but that's a good way to at least get started. We can relax it and get lower later. So again, try that again with me. We're gonna go relax, firm, tall, lips. Then we're gonna try to make a noise through our mouth. So first blow some air through the center of the lips. If you're really tight and you've pushed forward a little bit, you may actually make a noise right off the bat. Make sure it's coming straight through the center. If you're having trouble with this phenomenon, just make sure you're aiming your air forward. I'm about six inches away from my face. Once you start buzzing, that air column will go away and it'll disperse and that's okay. Try that with me several times. If you can do that, the next step is to get the mouthpiece involved. This is the magic, okay? This is what's going to make the trombone make its noise. If this is good and working, then your trombone playing will be a lot easier. Make that noise one more time with your mouth. If yours is like this, you're not blowing a large enough column of air. You're also the open part of your mouth is not uh, tall enough. You're also not engaging the lips enough. You're being just very focused on the center. I have students who do that a lot. I can't make a noise. Firm up, blow harder. That should do it. Mouthpiece to mouth. Make sure you get both lips inside the mouthpiece. Remember that you may have to stick your jaw out ever so slightly if you've got a, a overbite like me. If you have an underbite, you may do the opposite thing. You may have to like pull it back a little bit. You may also, if you have a normal bite and everything locks in like this, you may not have to do, you may not have to do anything. Uh... If you made that noise, you're doing great. Some things you could be hearing by accident. If you're doing that, it's not enough sound. Blow faster. Try to let those lips engage. It's going to be pretty forceful. You're doing a lot of work here. It's going to feel easy over time, though. Another sound you might be hearing is this. You're not using enough air quantity coming out of the lips. Let more air escape and push more air through the lips. That's a raucous amount of tension compared to the first way. So if you're making that sound that I just made that was wrong, you're not even close. You've got to really ratchet the tension up, push more air through the mouth. If you're making that kind of noise or like, then your lips are ultra flappy. You probably need to play tuba or ratchet up the tension on those things. How did you do that, Mr. Butler? I'm pushing together, closing down the lips together, uh, closing the inside of the space down some from going from really tall 
I'm, I'm decreasing the amount of space in the mouth. Last thing, try to move the uh, sound around a little bit. That's all done with here with the lips, releasing the tension, engaging more tension, using uh, a little bit of a higher tongue in the back, increasing the air quantity as well. Okay, the speed of which it's coming out. Make sure you're always pushing from the belly. All right, if you're doing all that, you're doing great. Good job, y'all. Bye-bye.